Hey gang, Dave Baker. Today we're going to talk about some of my favorite pole arms featured on Forged in Fire. Historically, the pole arm is a standoff weapon. It keeps your enemy at a distance. You can fight off enemy cavalry, enemy infantry, keeping them out of sword's range. Now this beauty is the German halberd. The German halberd was used starting in the 14th century, consisting of an ax head, a spear point, and a hooked back. It can be used to chop an opponent, pull someone off a horse, or push a ladder off a wall. It will kill. Now the name of this weapon, halberd, comes from the German words helm, meaning staff, and bart, meaning ax. That was brutal, dude. <laughs> you can still see these halberds being used at ceremonial events. This is the glaive guison. Now, a glaive is basically a large sword blade on a pole. This is a widely used weapon from the 13th and 14th century in Europe. Now, the glaive gave the ability to thrust as well as slash, just like a pole. It can also be used to push an object away. I'd say that's pretty good. So glaives and weapons like them were often used by second line troops. Standing behind the front line or shield wall, you could reach over and stab into your opponent's line. This weapon is sharp. Thank you. This weapon is the Qilongji. Now the Qilongji is almost a, a marrying of a spear and a halberd. With this wavy blade for thrusting and slashing, the hook for either hooking or chopping into an opponent, it gave a warrior a certain amount of reach, but it wasn't as long as a lot of pole arms. The Qilongji was a costly blade to make, so it was often reserved for palace guards or the upper echelon of the military. Kilongi was a light, fast blade, and on the battlefield, if you were facing a line of these, you weren't moving forward. This weapon is the Bardiche. The Bardiche is a Russian weapon from the 16th, 17th century, most famously used by a group called the Strelsi, which were an elite musketeer group. Their heavy muskets were laid across the axe's blade to stabilize it. Once the musket was fired, it could be dropped and the Bardiche picked up as troops charged. Nice. Head on, brother. These are a light, well-designed weapons. Remember, on the battlefield, you needed to carry this in one hand and a 16-pound musket in the other. That would really slow you down. Ha, ha, ha. It's a light, fast, deadly weapon with a colorful history. Now this wild looking weapon is the Jubanji Yari. The Yari was used by Japanese infantry in the 15th century, either to fight off other infantry units or mounted samurai. Jesus. The Jumanji Yari or the Trident Yari is different than the standard yari in that the standard yari just has a point. The Jumanji with these arms actually made it a better defensive weapon. On the 15th century Japanese battlefield, this weapon was both offense and defense. Thanks for watching Forge and Fire on History. Click the subscribe button for more videos.